morning. It is me, Leona. I clearly just look like I rolled out of bed, so apologies for this demeanor appearance. But I love to have you here, so welcome to my humble abode. I'm currently eating some leftover tteokbokki that I just heated up. Today it is Saturday morning, ish noonish, and I need to. I don't need to, but I'm planning to just take myself on a little date, i.e., run errands do things that I've been wanting to do for myself and maybe like get some coffee and then meet up with my parents later I don't know I'm just gonna finish this topogi and scroll through my phone maybe and I'll talk to you later when I'm getting ready How do we feel? My viewfinder is way too small so I can't see what's going on. But uh, hairs are still a bit of a mess, but we're working with what we got. Two more important topics. I'd like to introduce you to the first ever partner of this this channel. Ana Luisa is a jewelry brand based in New York. Their whole spiel is about cutting the middleman and trying to make jewelry, like fine pieces of jewelry, high quality pieces of jewelry, more affordable for the average consumer and I am one of those average consumers so they gifted me three pieces of jewelry even before this whole partnership I actually bought a few like full price on my own just because obviously I didn't know this this partnership would ever happen and they're essentially a 100% carbon neutral and car water neutral company and they have a whole impact report that goes through how they calculate and keep track of their carbon emissions as well as their water usage and then there are steps for how they minimize offset that I'm no expert of auditing all this but they have their own third person certificate certification so it's legit it's not just greenwashing which I'm I'm happy about we're all about the circular economy so the more recycled products or materials the better pieces that I got are I don't know the name of it so I will link all the products listed below I have this nice cross ring I guess it could be a little bit big so it goes to put on my thumb which is nice because I do have skinny fingers but you could also just like select your ring size I probably just messed up and chose one that was a little too big or I was measuring my thumb at night when my hands were like more puffy but anyways I got this ring these beautiful twisted babies I also got these dainty hoop earrings I actually might wear these the whole point about sustainability and being more sustainable is by using pieces that are long lasting and that you can use all the time all other pieces are like timeless designs very classy a hoop earring is never gonna go out of style you know this kind of nice dainty gold ring is never gonna go out of style so I'll be using this for long periods of time and that is what is best for the planet and also for my wallet. Yeah, it just like opens and closes back in which is a very easy way to put in jewelry and you don't have to be afraid of losing the back ends because I tend to do that a lot. I wish I could get a industrial piercing or something on my helix or this area but I'm afraid of scarring I still have scars from like little burns that I have so yeah it's trying away from getting an actual piercing but instead I have these little bad boys these little oh, I have two actually I don't know if you see them ear cuffs so what I do with them is I just my ear is pretty soft and pretty small but this, I haven't lost one of them yet and I've been wearing them for a while. I like the asymmetry for this. So yeah, I think it's really cute either putting one one or the same here because I have two piercings here. But that is the end of this segment of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Maybe, I don't know. I did because I mean, they're just, they're just so beautiful. And yeah, now I need to get going and go outside. Right, so a bit of a change in plans. I'm still gonna run my errands. I'm gonna go to ABC to try to make glasses because the glasses I have right now are kind of broken and like scarred. It's hard to see and I get a migraine when I wear them for too long. And then I'm gonna go to an apartment viewing because I've been scouting around the apartment market and 
we're just gonna go see one just to see if if anything appeals to me and my budget but yeah i'm in a rush i need to go Broccoli cooked in garlic and olive oil. Now we have our go to pizza from Subway. It's fine. E -e -e. Hello, good morning. Running a bit late as per usual, but I'm going to go get lunch with Adisa at Shimokitazo, so I'm gonna train there. I'm wearing surprisingly a skirt. And then for jewelry, I'm wearing three pieces from Ana Luisa. I don't know if you can really tell, it's their twisted hoop. And then this is just one of the half or half of the pair of an earring set I think created by a YouTuber, Hannah, or something like that. And then I also put one on the ear cuffs. This is the thinner, dainty one. So, yeah. But yeah, that's that's what I'm working with. Again, asymmetry. We got one here, and then we got three there. And then we have some crusty nails. I'm gonna go now. I'm trying to embarrass you. Yum. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's actually good. It is good. It's very chocolatey. Mm. I think there's like chocolate chips on the inside. Oh, pretty. I don't taste the pistachio. It's good. Mm. Okay, good morning. It is me. It's another weekend, but I'm gonna run a few errands. I need to go to my physical therapy because you know, working all day, 40, 50 hours a week on a desk is detrimental to my posture and I need to get that fixed. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then pick up the glasses that I made or that I like signed up for and paid for last week and you know, see how the final results are and yeah, get food and whatnot. Wearing very casual black pants from Cotton. I'm wearing a very old baby t-shirt from my ballet school that I used to go to when I was in like third grade in Westchester, New York. Really surprised I was able to fit it and that I even had it in the first place. And then I'm wearing a cashmere sweater on top because or secondhand cashmere sweater because it's still a bit chilly and I need layers. I honestly think this combination is my favorite. It's these hoop earrings on my first holes, ear holes, 
and then I got one of the pierced earrings from that like asymmetrical mismatched set and then this ear cuff on this side yeah I need to get going loosen up my tense muscles especially my shoulders and my jaws because I clench a lot get those fixed and I'll see you in Ibisu area again Hello, it is a couple of weeks since the vlog. I am editing this and I wanted to close it off. I realized I never showed you guys the glasses I ended up getting. I did kind of wear them in the video episode last week, but just to give you a rundown on what they actually are, I got two glasses. Both of them are blue light cutting, so you could see the blue light being reflecting off of them. This is prescription glasses. My eyes are very bad. You could see this is how much refraction there's going on so this is what they look like if I put them on properly then the size of my eyes change a lot because again my eyes are very bad I'm wearing contacts right now these are what I wear at home but I don't have my contacts on clearly and then this is what I use when I'm working with my contacts on because again it has blue light cut so I'm shielding my eyes from the blue light that is being emitted from my computer screen which I'm staring at throughout the whole entire day so this is what it looks like it has a nice gold frame and they also have uv cut both of them so i could wear these outside in the sun they're not there aren't sunglasses that are making it easy for me to see but they are at least blocking uv from entering my eyes so my eyes don't get any worse than they already are i also like to wear them outside during pollen season because it is an extra layer of a shield to block up pollen from entering my eyes so while there aren't the goggles that a lot of people wear in Tokyo or in Japan there's still some layer protection and the thing about these is that because they're gold they match a lot of the gold accessories that I like to wear so the Annalisa earrings and ring that I got they're all gold because I tend to gravitate towards them that color I mean I do have a few silver pieces but I feel like my skin color looks best with gold so these gold frames match perfectly with my gold earrings and that's where i like to conclude this video so thank you guys for watching again if you're still here i love you and don't forget to check out anna luisa i do have a link down below in my description box so take a look i'll just give out the names of the items that i received and bought for myself so that we can pair if you are into that but yeah, I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!